Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Praxy Hacks here, and welcome back to another episode of Mech Warrior 2. Now, in the previous video, we began the Wolf campaign and we went through a few missions, and this time we are going to change our mech because the Mad Dog is not a good mech. We have up to 65 tons this time. Hellbringer. Oh, I can, I can run the Rifleman or the Hellbringer if I wanted to. Hell, Mad Dog, Stormcrow. Oh. Hellbringer. If I do make one, you know, I think I'll customize a mech this time. It's very rare that I that I've been doing so, but I decided to uh, change things up a bit. You guys get this nice behind the scenes of what goes on when I make my mechs, because I make a lot of net mech mechs, and um. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what else to do. Make a lot of mechs. It's fun making mechs and then using them against people. It actually gives me an incentive to uh, actually make the mechs. So I want a lot of back armor. And I'm not, I mean, this could be, this build will probably be used for net mech, but I, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. Also, I just realized I don't have the armor maxed on the other side, so that's a bit of a problem. Oh well, I'll deal with that. I did not expect to have this to run this much uh, tonnage in armor. That's let's just keep going. Of course, I need to add more. And I believe I'm almost there. Oops. I kind of want to delete that now. There we go. I accidentally double clicked. One of the dumb things about my, uh, my mouse is that it has a bad habit of double clicking when I don't want it to. So let's go to weapons. Let's do this. Let's add ammo, not three tons, not one ton, two tons. There we go. I didn't want to delete the weapon. There's a lot that happens when it comes to double clicking. So it's a bit annoying when stuff like that happens, but you know. What are you going to do? I could turn down the engine just a little bit. It'll only give me four jets, but that's okay because I have long range mi missiles and I don't really have a particular issue. So yeah, I'm just kind of. Adding a whole bunch of missiles. And... Oh, I said add ammo, thank you. Actually, why don't I delete ammo here? Because I kind of want to conserve. And have a couple medium lasers. And with that, that's a lot of criticals to assign. So what I usually do is I put a jet here, I put a jet here, put a jet here, and I put a jet here. As far as endo steel is concerned, I usually like to spread it out across the mech. But the arms, because the arms have will have some important things in them. Unfortunately, because there's an odd number, I am unable to um, put two endo steel on everything. But that's okay because I really don't need to. Um, 
Yeah, let's put some. Let's put some LRM tens here. Yeah, let's put them on the leg. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? But at least I, uh, if I get shot, I'll only lose ammunition in some of the weirder places. So yeah, for the arms, I'm gonna put a laser in here, a laser medium here, and. Let's put a medium laser here. I technically have enough for ferrofibrous, so I might actually do that. Okay. Armor. Ferrofibrous. Now let's delete. Some of that, because, yeah, we don't need that extra weight if we don't have to. However, the thing with ferrofibrous is it adds more criticals to a sign, so, yeah. I could one to the head. Also, why is there anything here? I usually put a laser. Uh, there we go. That makes sense. It's a lot more sense. So, you know, now that that's taken care of, I can uh, safely add more heat sinks. And before I forget, let's get rid of these. Because they actually take up space, and you really don't need these actuators. So you can just freely take them off, and they don't really hinder your mech's performance whatsoever. It's... Pretty crazy, actually. <laughs> so now that that's been taken care of, let's add one more double heat sink. So I'm just going to do this. Uh, do I not have enough space? I should. Uh, uh. I guess I'm taking off a couple of them. I guess I could add some more weapons. Or one more weapon, I should say. Uh, or I could all... No, or, you know what? I'll just add ammo. Let's add some ammo here, and let's add some ammo here. And we should be good to go now. So, this would normally be a class 5 build. And this will be my first class 5 build I've ever made. Uh, C5. Uh, after a crazy name. One that fits the Hellbringer. Um, Harry Man's cousin. There we go. Harry Man's cousin, because I can't think of anything clever to. There we are. And let's accept that briefing. Well. You can, you guys can read this if you want. Just be sure to pause the video because I'm going through it rather quick, just in case some people want me to just skip it and get on with the mission. Especially considering the fact that um, I spent so long. Planet Baker 3, ambient temperature 26.6 degrees Celsius. Temperature normal for the GST. Okay, so in this mission, you gotta protect a tarantula. And there are some enemy mechs trying to take out your tarantula while it's undergoing repairs. So what you want to do is just take out. Nav, roll. 
reached. It's okay, that pit box is not gonna last very long. All those missiles coming at it. Oh, hi, Jenner. Enemy mech I don't want you here, so you need to go. This is actually pretty funny. I like this build already. <laughs> All right, group fire time. Now, let's see how well these missiles do in group fire. I'm pretty sure they're going to do quite a... They're going to do pretty well. <laughs> Poor Jenner. I'm just going to shoot it in the back, or in the cockpit. If I get a headshot, then that's great. I wonder what the AI is doing. They're just kind of sitting here, not really doing much. In fact, are they shooting each other? I'm going to try my best not to hit the tarantula, because this guy still needs to be alive. All right, and now let's go back to chain fire. There we go. So the only mechs I really have to worry about now are way over there. So I'm gonna head over to that area. There's really not many mechs to deal with. This mission is really not that hard. I just need to recharge. I wasn't feathering them well enough. If I hit Q, I can... Oh? Yeah. There we go. Or get Fox. This is such a medium set. And with that, secondary objective, destroy all the mech units. Successful. Now I'm just gonna head right on back to where I was supposed to go. I wonder if I can make it all the way over there with just uh, without depleting my jets. Can jet for a long period of time, so as long as I feather them right, should be fine. Yeah, I made it. 
However, now comes the boring part of this mission. Waiting for this thing to finish repairing. Ugh. So, yeah. I'm thinking later on I'll probably play some Ghost Bears Legacy once I'm done with the campaign of this. That'll be interesting. In the meantime, I'm, we're just waiting for this crazy tarantula to finish. This vehicle is sure taking its sweet time. Uh, where's a mobile field base when you need one? Oh well. Now we wait. Know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go over to Nav, Nav Sigma because that's where my dust off site is. If anything, we can listen to this nice, relaxing music because the music's good. I love this game soundtrack. As I'm sure everybody who else who's played this does. As I'm sure everyone else does too, and at least those who played this game before. I also played some Mech 3, and I have recently gotten my hands on Mech Warrior 4 Mercs, so I did a bit of campaign on that. I was o I thought the campaign was okay. Not my favorite, though. I just don't like how... I just don't like how the payment system works. The fact that you have to pay money just to start a mission is weird to me. But, you know, it is what it is. So... Mr. Uh... Mr. Tarantula, are you going to be done anytime soon, or am I just going to be sitting here twiddling my thumbs some more? We this mission takes ages. Wonder how high I now, signal <gasps> reached. Incoming message. T5 unit has been repaired. Thank Proceed you. Proceed to Nav Sigma for dust off. Sensors indicate friendly dropship has entered atmosphere. ETA dropship, one minute. Oh yeah, that's even better. Now, the drop. Now we have to wait for the dropship to show up. As if the game didn't make us wait long enough. Now we have to wait for a dropship. We're here. Someone pick us up. I wonder if I can target the dropship. I can. Should I fire? Yeah, why don't I... Why don't I fly up and meet it? Hello. Sensors indicate arrival of reinforcements. Primary objective, defend T5 reconnaissance unit. Successful. Mission successful. Aww. I wanted to jump on the dropship, but I guess I can't do that now, can I? Oh boy. Aftermath. You guys want to read that? Go for it. Exit. What mission is this, by the way? It's a trial. Well, now we get to see what the wolf trial grounds look like. Trial initiated. And guess what? I'm a storm crow. All and stock storm crows are not the best. Group fire engaged. One thing I really like is the um is the theme in this in this map. The wolf trial soundtrack is really good. I really like the wolf trial theme. Enemy mech destroyed. Shut down. Critical. Shut down. Sigma. 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 Critical. Sh
sequence initiated. Trial phase one. Successful. New record acquired. Shoot engagement. I um game. You have fifteen. Game? Why didn't you that's annoying. Okay, so I hit the slash key to go back to chain fire, and the game decided, okay, I guess I'm not going. I don't know what that was all about. <sighs> Trial initiated. Wolf Clan protocol. All systems nominal. Well, I'm just gonna group these. We'll go on group fire just this time because I want to, um, I want to fire all my missiles. Because these fire moths will not take very long. Yeah, case in point. Group fire engaged. Yeah, there we go. Trial phase one. Successful. New rank acquired. Shoot engagement near to initiate. And we have a gargoyle. And a storm crow. Kinda wanna take out that gargoyle. Trial phase two. Initiated. Though, the trick to handling gargoyles is basically just shoot off their arms. And they can't do anything to you. Oh, you have auto cannons. That's not fun. Chain fire engaged. There, now you don't have anything. Oh, this is why I don't like stock max. They're just not good. Where's the storm crow, by the way? Oh, there it is. It's just camping over there. It's large lasers. Shutdown sequence initiated. Shutdown sequence overridden. Chain fire engaged. Ah, uh, this mech runs so hot. Just. to use my missiles because my lasers run way too hot. This stock build is not good. <clears throat> and with that, the mission is over. And I have now reached the rank of Nova Commander. So, yeah, let's move on. Timberwolf. I'm a Timberwolf. I wonder if there's any C5 sets. No? Kind of surprised. Okay, so this mech is not going to have mask on it. 
gonna have a 375 XL. It's gonna have four jets. Its weapons will not be these. So I'll probably run some 15s. And let's add some endo steel. Let's go to the armor. The armor is not where it should be. Huh. Well, now it is, but... Yeah. Anything else? No, everything seems fine. So maybe I should set this to 16. Okay. You know what? I'll just leave it as is. And let's add ammo. Add ammo. Ammo. And ammo. Now maybe I should make the engine slower. Yeah. That way I can fit some more. That way I can fit some more stuff on. Why don't I add a 20? Yeah. Add ammo. And one more 20. No, that's not working. Delete weapon. Delete weapon. Delete weapon. I'll just add some, I'll just add a couple more LRM 15s because. Yeah. This thing's crazy. <laughs> I could add mask if I wanted to, but let's add a pulse laser on this thing. And the pulse laser medium would be here, LRM15 here, LRM15 here, LRM15 here, another one here, another one here, and then why not? Let's add another one here. Endo steel. Endo steel. I have three ferrofibers on there. I don't want that. I want to put a ferrofibers here. One, two. One, two. One, two. No. Actually, what I should do... Nope. Mm, ammo, let's put it in the, in the leg. Let's put the other one in the leg. And let's put a heat sink here and a heat sink here. And I'll just call this thing C5. This whole mouse because this thing looks like a mouse and let's check I'm gonna check on something oh it says up to four missile launchers of any kind with at most three tons of ammo each so honestly Having this would prop this would actually just be a class six set. So might as well delete this. Delete this. No. Nope. Delete that. Let's add ammo. Add ammo. Ammo. And one more. Actually, you know what? I don't even need these 15s anymore. I could just use the 20. I could just put on four 20s. One, two, three, four. Add ammo. And 
and maybe add some machine guns. I think that would work. One, two, three, and four. One, two. Sorry, I'm taking so long. This is this is nasty business, mate. Max. Uh, one machine gun. Two machine guns. I don't really need that many sinks. I mean, yes, LRMs take up a lot of heat, but I'm not all too worried. actually don't have enough. Yeah, this mech is not the best mech. Not the most optimized I've made, but... No, that's not class one. Let's delete that. And yeah. All right. Here you go. So this mission is Sable Flame, so it's a it's one of the crazier missions. And you guys will see why in a moment. In fact, I'm actually very glad I decided to run a missile set because I'm going to desperately need it. thing with this mission is, well, you gotta protect something. It's not a bad mission by any means, but the target of opportunities here are kind of annoying, and you'll see why in a moment. In fact, there's, they're both on both sides of those hills. However, I'm not going to deal with them just yet. And also, I really don't want to do damage to the dome. So I kind of want to get out of there. Machine guns in this game are actually really good. And unlike in future entries, basically, they all of them only use one ammo instead of, like, you know, the amount of ammo that you would normally have. Like, 
for instance, if you had three, if if you were running my build right now, in future games, the ammo would be subtracted by three instead of one. So basically, the amount subtracted to the ammo per per firing rate is equivalent to that of um, the amount of machine guns you're, you have. If that makes any sense. I'm kind of bad at explaining things. Oh man. Oh man, you thought you could hit me. What's cool about this map is that it's a cratered vacuum, so it's incredibly cold. So. Honestly, I have nothing really to worry about. Ooh, the Hellbringer didn't like that one bit. Now over there, you can see that there's a dropship. I do not want to get too close to that thing. At least not yet. Oh, great. Now, as you can see, that dropship is armed with ERP PCs. So, yeah. So I'm going to leave the dropship alone for now because there's other mechs that are coming this way and they're going to try to attack this dome. So I'm going to head in this general direction now. And as you can see on the other well, you can't really see it yet, but there's a there's another dropship on the other side of this hill. So basically, and they're both targets of opportunity, so you got to destroy both of them. And the thing with dropships is that they take forever to take out. It's mainly due to their faulty hitboxes. Okay, this one kind of needs to get up. Could you stop firing at the dome, please? I will stand in your way if I have to. I better not overheat. Please don't overheat. Okay, good. <sighs> now, th now this fruitcake's gonna go after. Oh no, he's going after me. That makes things easier. Chain fire engaged. Enemy mech destroyed. Primary objective: capture and secure sensor array dome. Successful. Proceed to dust dump zone for extraction. All right. Now we're gonna deal with the targets of opportunity. And honestly, these dropships are pretty crazy. There's my dropship huddling over it. Now, I'm just going to completely strafe around it. Cause it won't really hit me. My biggest worry now is the time limit.
Oh, thanks. That's actually very bad. I shut down. It didn't let me override. So I might actually die. No. Okay, I didn't die. But still. I would have been pretty upset <laughs> if I died because of that. But yeah, this dropship is armed to the teeth. To be honest, I don't think I'm going to be able to destroy it in time. I'd have to check the mission objectives and the time. So yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. The mission's already done, I don't even need to attack these dropships, but yeah, you can kind of see where I'm coming from now. These dropships take a lot of hits. Yeah, I only have four minutes left to do this. And this dropship hasn't even lost it. Oh, now it's lost its wings. This dropship might actually die now. Oh, no, 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 don't blow up, don't blow up, okay. Oh. Honestly, these targets of opportunity really aren't worth taking it out because of how crazy, uh, crazy durable they are. This dropship will not die. It's definitely not hitting me, which is good, because if it was hitting me, I'd probably be dead. <laughs> That's how much firepower this thing has. It carries large pulse lasers, a bunch of missiles, and PRPPCs. I really wish this thing would just die already. Oh, so I will not let you shut me down. Instantly again. How won't this thing die? Just die already. I unloaded all my missiles on you. Would you believe that you would have to take out both of these things? Explain to me, developers, how that would be even remotely possible due to how much heat these dropships can take. Developers, you really made a mistake here. I don't think I can take this thing out in time. If I take one out, that'll be amazing. But something tells me it's not gonna happen. You know what? It's not gonna happen. Well, time to go. <sighs> but yeah, the target of opportunities, the targets of opportunity in this 
in this mission are among the worst by far. I wish the dropships were more reasonable to take out, but alas, they are not. Nav Iota reached mission successful. Even with a whole bunch of missiles, I couldn't take them out. Okay. Stormcrow. Next, we have another 65 ton max. Mad Dog Hellbringer. Now, I'm going to actually completely change this build up a bit because this is not C5. I think I'll do one more mission and then I'll end the episode. This will be a longer video. All right. No. Nope. Okay. So Here's the situation if you guys want to read it. And let's launch. Planet Ancillia. Ambient temperature negative 30.34 degrees. Local time is 10.54.32 GST. All systems nominal. Now. This mission isn't so bad. It's nowhere near as crazy as the other mission is. Enemy power up detected. Enemy that being power said, up this one has a dumb target of opportunity as well, although it's nowhere near as bad as Sable Flames. But it's still pretty bad. And if you guys haven't already guessed, I mean, unless you guys have played this game before, which I'm pretty sure many of you have, there's another dropship. And it's the same kind as the one in Sable Flame. I don't want to waste my missiles on these guys. I will have sequence initiated. Shutdown sequence overridden. Yeah, the dropship's over there. You can kind of see it, but I'm not going to go dealing with it right now. The mission objective is to take out the sensor array. Don't, like, well, they're solar panels. I don't know why I call them sensor arrays, but they're not sensor arrays. Oh, I did not want to use all of them at once, but. Enemy target destroyed. Enemy power up detected. Oh, that didn't work at all. Now, there's a mech that's going to be coming from that area, and I actually don't want to go there just yet because, well, that's where the dropship is, and the dropship's probably going to destroy me if I do that. I'm going to kind of avoid it. And it's kind of firing. That summoner over there is kind of firing its gauss rifle at me.
It did a lot of torso damage to me. It might actually kill me. There we go. It did way too much damage to me. I think the turrets didn't really help either. have the mad dog attacking me now, huh? Oh. Well, I got blown up a bit early, now didn't I? What I'm gonna do... I need to... Rifleman. Might need to change that up just a bit. I wonder what would happen if I souped up the engine. Hmm. Armor. Weapons. Delete. Let's try this. Okay, it's a bit faster now, so be fine. Chrome is one of the is not an easy mission. However, there are ways to cheese this. Local time in ten fifty four thirty two GST. All systems nominal. Enemy power up detected. Enemy power up detected. The gravity here is kind of high. So, Hellbringers have a hard time uh, maneuvering around. head over to that area, because that's where my objective is. I kind of want to take out all the mechs. And I'm thinking of engaging yet another dropship. I think this one's easier to take out than the ones in Sable Flame. Yeah, there's the dropship right there. to take out the summoner. That dropship's gonna be a huge chore. Enemy target 
destroyed. I don't want to take out these turrets too because those turrets can really hurt. Enemy target destroyed. They have medium pulses, and medium pulses can do quite a bit of damage to you. Enemy target destroyed. Oh boy. And there's the summoner. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. There's a dropship. It's a target of opportunity. I can take it out if I choose to. Or I could just ignore it and complete the mission. But knowing me, I like to take the weirder route. Oh, these missiles. If I move around, the missiles will have a harder time tracking me. So will the lasers. Ow. As I said before, this dropship will do a number on you. I need to get closer, because then it will be, they'll be in its blind spot. The problem is how slow this thing is. I just need to pay attention to the time. So they're already taking out my arms. I'm ill-equipped to handle this jump jet. I mean, this dropship. I will say that it doesn't really fire at you if you're moving a specific speed. Yes, even with missiles, this thing takes forever to destroy. This was a mistake. Annoying. 
So yeah, well, here we are. Trying to take out a dropship. This thing is just not dying. Okay, we're making some headway. I will take out a dropship. And then if and then have no weapons left by the time it's done. <laughs> This thing needs to die. Can't believe I'm doing this. Stay. How oh, do you still have missiles left? Yeah, these dropships take way too long to kill. This thing has to go, seriously. <laughs> I remember as a kid I was scared to death of these things, because they would just tear my mech apart the moment they looked at me. <laughs> Going to take you out anytime soon, or am I just going to be constantly shooting in vain? Just die already. Yeah. I am determined. I've taken one of these things out before. This thing just fire engage. very curious as to why this dropship isn't dying yet. I wonder where its hitbox is, because this thing should have been dead a long time ago. Oh, that's okay. That all around that was going to die anyway. This thing might actually take me out. Critical hit engine. Critical hit jump jet exhaust port. Critical hit internal ammo explosion detected. Oh no. 
drop ship. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't like that at all. No. No. Drop ship. Why haven't you died yet? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, drop ships are kind of absurd. They can be ta they can be taken out. I don't understand how exactly. So, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Proxyhack signing out. Bye.